Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Glad you're back for another video. My name is Ibrahim Usman and I have quite a few updates for you today. Number one, I'll give you an update on the PS5 finally. Secondly, I have an update on the improvement of my channel. I don't know if you've noticed. And number three, the general whole presence of the reason of why I have not been available for a very long time. So without wasting your time, let's just jump straight into the video. First of all, the PS5. Well, it didn't go as straightforward as I had hoped, but I got a story out of it. So what happened was, in case you, didn't, you missed my last video, I had a PS5 with a broken HDMI port and I needed to take it for repairs. I called the guy that I bought the console from for him to get me somebody that could fix the console. And yeah, that was where the video kind of stopped. So we found somebody. So the guy I bought the console from found somebody that he believed could fix the console. So we gave it to him to fix and his words were, he fixed it, but his brother came and somehow did something to the console after he has fixed it. And the console refused to turn on completely. So pretty much he fried the motherboard and there was nothing that can be done about that. So we were like, okay, since that has happened, we, my brother obviously needs another console to continue playing games. So how are we going to solve the issue? We settled on would bring 50% of the money and the guy would bring, wait, it's not up to 50%. Console as of then was 400,000 there. So we settled on, you'd bring 150, then we would bring 250. He was claiming he didn't have money, this and that, and we didn't just want to prolong the whole situation. So we accepted uh, with the condition that all the accessories for the previous console were going to keep it. And yeah, he's only going to get the dead console and pretty much sell all the parts around it to make back his money. So the next day I called the repair guy and I told him, okay, we're ready. So how about you? I was like, where's the money? Send it to the guy, said I would get the console. And then he was like, his words, and I quote, the only way we will get money out of him is if we take the case to the police station. <laughs> yeah, that was his words. Literally, he wanted a police case instead of giving us that money. And I was like, okay, no problem. You want police? And then that's fine. We gave the guy like, two weeks to get his shit in order because like we don't know what's wrong with this guy and why he made that kind of statement at that moment maybe he was he had issues so we just let it go for two weeks we didn't hear anything not a call not a text nothing so we took it to the police station and the guy that was handling the case was like don't worry just chill he, don't worry he's going to bring back your money then he called the guy that was fixing the game the guy that we bought the game from who recommended that person to fix the game i don't know what he told them but both of them called me agitated confused and they were like you know what uh, i how do you want us to do it do you still want us to give you your console or give you the money we're ready to pay they're ready to give us money <laughs> At that point, what the guy that I bought the game from kind of like spoils the relationship because during the whole period, some delays were caused because of him, not just the repair guy, and both of them were kind of being dishonest about the whole case, and I didn't just want anything to do with both of them, so I said, you know what, just give me the money, I'll get the console from somewhere else. After all, we're not getting it in any cheaper than in anybody else, which he's supposed to do it because it's the one that recommend the guy, but you know, he wasn't interested and we weren't ready to wait or push that matter so we're like eh, no problem just give me the money and then we'll get the console so he sent the money to me and then i bought another console now where's that console <laughs> so during that period i hit 100 subscribers thank you very much for the subscribers we're like what 124 now which yeah yes i'm grateful for that so i hit that and i was like to celebrate me hitting 100 and 100 subscribers then how about i shoot a video with my smartphone which I felt like, yeah, maybe it's time. Let me just try and shoot a video with my smartphone. An unboxing of the PS5. Finally, in my studio, I had a PS5. I was going to do a second unboxing. That, that didn't, didn't, didn't go as planned at all. I tried. I was faced with a lot of limitations. I tried using my Note 9 to film the video. Let me just roll the clip. So the guy that tried to fix it damaged it beyond repair. And we lost that PS5 console. Now, it's not all bad because uh, <laughs> we got a new PS5 out of it. I've already experienced why I hated shooting videos with my smartphone. After the previous part of this video, I went to check on my video to make sure I was still recording. Did I hit record? And I accidentally stopped my recording. So I did the entire unboxing without actually recording it. 
So I had to repackage the game again and then do this unboxing for the second time. So this is just for show. And we will just start off from what was inside that pack. Uh, it brings back memories. I didn't know that I was only recording for three minutes. At the point I thought I was recording, I was not because I was trying to record with the back camera instead of the front. Like it was a mess. I hated the color. Trying to edit was ah, God. Like I, that was what happened with the PS5. We got another one. I tried unboxing it. I failed at it. I returned it because my brother was anxious to get his console back, so I gave it to him. And then I didn't have a PS5 to unbox properly on my channel. So let me make a pledge now. The day I buy my own PS5, I am going to do the most epic, the most epic unboxing. Yeah. That's everything on the PS5. Now, channel updates. Yes, we hit a thousand. <laughs> yeah, we hit a hundred subscribers. Inshallah, we hit a thousand. We hit a hundred subscribers. And yeah, the one thing I wanted to do is set custom links. But basically, custom links is the channel name. Like the link I sent people to access my channel. I don't want YouTube slash X, Y, A, B, C, D, gibberish kind of thing. I wanted YouTube slash C for channel slash Ibrahim Osman, which was my, which is my name. So that was what I wanted. But what happened? I finally got it. I was so excited. I opened my computer. I wanted to wanted to set my channel name. I tried the Brian Osman, red. I tried the Brian Osman, I can't do it. So I decided to Google and I noticed there was already an Ibrahim Osman that already existed and he had already set his channel name to Ibrahim Osman. I swear, since I started this YouTube thing, I had not felt like I'm a very simple person. Since I started my YouTube channel, there was no reason for me to be jealous. I don't get jealous for the amount of subscribers. I don't get jealous for the amount of views that other creators have. But this time, I swear to God, I was 100% jealous because that was something I wanted. I made videos, I put effort with the whole goal of hitting something and getting my channel name. And then somebody already had it. So I settled for the next best thing by adding a number after my name. So I ended up with Ibrahim Osmano. I said, it made me sad and jealous of that guy, but you got it first. Congrats. Cherish that name because it's very important to me. So that was what happened. And then lastly, I don't know. The thing that I said you noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, but don't my video look a little bit sharper? And that is because I finally got a new lens, the 16 millimeter. I think this is the most paired lens with this, my camera, because it works so well. And when I got it, eh, God, I was so excited. Like... I literally got this lens today. I got the 16 millimeter f1.4. And the one thing I noticed the most is not the sharpness, it's the brightness. This is the lens I was using before. The trusty kit lens, the pancake lens, and all its glory. Safe to say this lens will hold a very special place in my heart. And lastly, channel updates. Now, I've been gone for a few months. The whole PS5 situation took about a month plus before it was rectified. Everything took a little bit over a month. And then the next month, I got caught up in a project that took quite a lot of time. And once I was done with that, um, before I like could record this video, I was like, okay, what are the videos that I would do next? And I realized that I didn't have any new tech coming in. So I need to figure out a way to do content on my YouTube channel. The plan was to review products, but now if I stick to that, I might just be putting out less videos. Like you guys are pretty much my channel. So I want to ask you guys, please leave it in the comment section. Are you okay with me making videos for things that I don't have? Like there are a lot of news I see on the internet, game related, camera related, I'm very interested and passionate about, and I have opinions about, but I don't know if I should put it on my channel. So, I'll just push it to you guys. Do you want to see that? If you do, just leave it in the comment section and I would start making videos on that. At least that way I'll be able to push more content. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am sorry I've been gone for a very long time. My projects, I'm over with it. I have a bit of free time now and I think I have my life in order in the terms of me making more time to actually shoot YouTube videos. So stay tuned. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
ah, put it back. Like it's it's like like this lens will hold, will hold a very special place in my heart. Let's keep it there for the rest of the video. <laughs>